If you're asked to factor 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 equals 0, this is how I would do it. First, I'd set up a skeleton equation. So that would look like this here. So once I have that, I'm going to look at the signs here. I have a positive and a positive. So if all the terms are positive, I'm going to have these positives right here. Next, I'm going to find the factors for the last term that should equal the middle term. But in this case, we have the 2 here. So that kind of throws things off. So let's put the 2 right here. And let's look at the factors of the last term, the 3 here. 3, the factors are 1 times 3. So I'll put 1 in 3 first and see if that adds up, gives me the 7 here. If it doesn't work, then I'll do 3 and 1. But these are really the choices I have. So let's just put a 1 and a 3. And then we'll use the FOIL method to check our work. 2x times x, that's the first term, that's 2x squared. Outside terms, 2x times 3, that's 6x. Inside terms, 1 times x, that's just x. And the last term, 1 times 3, that gives me 3. All of that equals 0. And I can see that this is going to add up to 7x. So I'll have 2x squared plus 7x plus 3, that equals 0. That's the same thing as up here, so I know I did this correctly. Let's use this information here to figure out what values of x will make this whole side over here 0. So I can say 2x plus 1 equals 0, 2x equals a negative 1, x equals a negative 1 half. Over here, x plus 3 equals 0, so x equals a negative 3. If I put a negative 1 half in for x, all of this will end up equaling 0. Likewise, if I put a negative 3 in for x, all of it would equal 0. So we know we've done that correctly. This is Dr. B factoring the equation 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 equals 0. Thanks for watching.